So this is just a wallpaper. I was trying to show what the problem actually is with an iPhone 13 user named Akshay Anu, a Twitter user, recently posted in his Twitter page that his iPhone 13 display turned to green after updating to iOS 16.1 on 25th October. He, of course, visited Apple Service Center in a city and they asked for a price of 31,000 Indian rupees in dollars it would be roughly $380 as per the current exchange rate. And the problem seems to be after the software update, the user says that there is a display hardware problem happened that made the service technician to change the display. The only solution that they are suggesting is to change the display. And for that, the device is just 15 days came out of warranty. It is the user who have to bear all the cost, which is 31,000 rupees and many users have commented in this Twitter uh, discussion mentioning that they are also facing similar pro problem. I was searching in Google in Reddit discussions and found similar threads that in Bangladesh that some users have also posted in Facebook groups that their iPhone 13 Pro Max models and some users iPhone 13 Pro models have turned to green after updating to the latest iOS 16 update, one of the 16 update, either it could be 16.0.3 or for some users it is the latest 16.1. My friends are using iPhone 13, 13 Pro and Pro Max models. So far, there is no such issues reported. I'm not just blindly saying that it cannot be a software issue, but if it is a software issue, then Apple Service Center technician should be able to fix it. And my suggestion is like if you are facing similar problem with your iPhone 13 model or any other model after the software update, it is must to escalate the problem, report the problem to the Apple customer support via the phone, let them run remote diagnosis if there is any possibility or take the phone to the Apple service center. More the complaints received by them for specific software and for specific iPhone model, Apple will be knowing that there is some problem specific to a product manufactured during a certain month or it could be because of the software. Then they can issue another software update within a couple of weeks addressing such serious issue to fix the problem. Previously, similar audio related problems have happened, mic related issues have happened with iPhone 12. And as users started to complain to the Apple service center, Apple identified that certain batch units were having manufacturing defects. Offered a free repair and replacement program for such complaints, even with iPhone 10, the display ghost touch issue were handled by Apple same way with a free display replacement or repair program. This of course puts us in a kind of a state where if we are using iPhone 13, 13 Pro or 13 Pro Max, whether to update to the iOS 16.1 or any of the 16 version, if you are still using iOS 15 versions. My suggestion is it is good to stay with the iOS 15 for some time, like for the next two to three weeks. I think Apple will definitely come up with an explanation after investigating this issue because this problem is actually kind of going viral right now. And he have tagged Apple support and Apple team of course and I'm sure that this should be escalated further and that is the main reason I am also making this video so that Apple will check that specific device and people who have you know posting the screenshots and photos of iPhone 13 models with a green display problem you know should be investigated to understand whether it is a software causing hardware failure or if the user have dropped the device previously and have any history of physical damage inside because Apple Survey Center have that ability to check for any user damages like with an x-ray or any other scan related options that they can identify whether there are any internal movements happened within the hardware or any physical damage happened or not. Based on that, they can refuse the service or repair and replacement options. Either the device is within warranty or without warranty. It is a bit confusing to you know come to a conclusion whether it is a software problem or hardware problem or software caused hardware problem. I'm going to follow what Apple responds to Akshay Anu, you know, 
through his Twitter page, of course. Either we have Apple Care or Apple Care Plus, it doesn't matter. If it is a manufacturing defect, that is one good thing I really like about Apple, that even for out of warranty products, for Mac computers, for iPhones, they did had replacement programs or repair programs announced before, and we will be able to get it serviced for absolutely free of cost. But for that to happen, it definitely needs at least a month or two time, and that waiting time really sucks. Let's hope for the best to happen, not just for Akshay Anu, also for other users who have joined their discussion and reported the similar problem of iPhone 13 or 13 Pro Max display turning to green after updating to iOS 16 software. If you are using iPhone 13 and already updated to iOS 16 version, do share your thoughts, how it actually works, whether you are seeing any screen flickering issue or any type of display related green tint issue in the comment section. And what do you think about this problem? overall. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.